okay everyone so this will be my final step and I'm going to add more details on the, on the painting okay so I'm going to darken this part and I am also going to also going to to add some um, details here okay So I'm going to use some dark tones, dark colors, so I'll be using this raw umber here. Let's make this part dark. So just follow what I'm doing guys. There. And also here. Okay. That's it. And I'll be mixing it with the blue color so that it will become dark. So I'll be putting some more here. Some darker tone. There and here also. This part should be very dark, guys. So just make it this part dark. it and we need to extend here a little to add a little detail there okay and I'm going to add some yellow to make it greenish and blue because I'm going to make the, the water greenish here there And some dark color red some blue here there and you need to clean your brush guys before you can start mixing other color And I'm going to use some red here and some raw umber. I'm going to add more red. And some yellow there.
And you just have to let it try first. We're gonna start adding more details. And but before I'm going to um, add more detail on the backgrounds. So we need to clean your brush and we're going to add some raw umber with some white there. Yellow. And white and raw umber. Yes. So we're going to put a little river bank here. Brown river bank. And some yellowish color and white. And I'm going to use this dark color here with some blue to add some dark tones here. I'm going to add some white, a little white to make it lighter, and just make it this part dark. And also here. There. And let's put more yellows and blue. In white. And some brownish and and red. There. More yellow. Okay. And some blue. And white. Some more white. There. So you just have to put a little highlights on the on the forest case. Something like this. And you can use the tapping or punching technique. And some yellow and white to create more highlights here. Some grasses on the background. There. And also here. I'm gonna put more grasses there. More white and yellow there. That's it. 
So we're gonna put more crashes in the background. So if you're painting with me, guys, just follow what I'm doing. Yeah, this looks like an oil painting, guys. It's pain. Always remember, guys, if you put more time on your painting, it will, it will become more beautiful. And if you want to make it realistic, it will become more realistic. Okay. So I'm going to add some reflections on the water. And I'll be using this umber with some blue and yellow. There. And I'm gonna put some that's it. And I'm going to use some light color guys so just add white on the existing greenish color here and let's put some reflections there onto the water that's it Just use the zigzag um, strokes, guys. Using this number eight flat brush, and of course here. I'm going to mix it with a little blue so just white and blue color Okay. And I'll be using the smaller brush guys, smaller flat brush, the number 7 flat brush to add more detail. So I'll be using the white here. And let's put some more detail here. The reflection of the dress of the polo guys. That's the reflection of the polo shirt. And also, I'm going to use this color here, the blue, and some white. It's a light blue color. And I'm going to add some bluish reflection here. there 
Tajit. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to retouch more. So I'll be using this umber here and some white. I'll be adding a detail here. A highlight here guys. It's a grayish color. And here it's gonna shake shades. Gonna put some shades. to add more white I'm gonna mix it here to make it light existing brown color and let's put some highlight here there More white. There. And also here guys, gonna put some white. I'm going to mix it with a little reddish color. Some more white. So I'm going to make it to make this part a little shiny. There. And I'm going to use the umber with some red. Then I'm going to put a little design here. And I think I'm going to mix our umber on blue comb to make some dark Then I'm going to use some light yellow here, a light brown, and I'm going to make it brownish. Put some dots here, some designs. There. I'm not sure what is it. Okay. So 
So I'm going to continue uh, retouching the painting guys. Actually I am almost done. And I'll just retouch the painting. So this part I'm going to retouch. I'm going to add more lights. And I'm going to mix some purple and red, blue and red. I'm going to make this shirt a purple. First, I'm going to use the raw umber and continue this. The paddle, guys. There. I'm not sure, but, but I think I'm going to retouch the face of the woman. Yeah, it's actually too big. Just huge, guys. Going to add more retouch. Going to add some dark tone here. If you're asking me guess what color is this, I'm just mixing the the raw umber and the blue. There. And also here. That's it. Yeah. So I'm going to retouch more here. I'm not sure guys if the head is just too big or Yeah, that's it. So I'm not really sure, guys, what, what what more I'm going to add. I'll just touch it. Some more parts. There. To add some more. I'm going to retouch some more white.
there. Yeah. And I'm going to put some tree in the background. So here I'm gonna put some tree here. Okay, there's a tree with no leaves, okay? But also, I think I'm gonna put more rocks or some slight brown color here. I'm going to put some river bank guys. Yeah, I think I, uh, I'm not sure guys if I am done or, or not or what Yeah, hey, but maybe I'm going to tone down the face of the lady guys To make it a little darker It's too light So I'm gonna mix for darker brown I'm going to add more shades here. There. I'm not really sure guys but the head is just it looks too big for for its body so I think I'm going to retouch more I'm going to add some more white here to make this part bigger there that's it and of course it, this part
Okay, and more red. So I am now retouching, guys. Uh, you can actually stop there if you want, if you are painting with me. As long as you are contented, that will be good. For me, I'm not yet contented. So I'm going to retouch more the face. I'm going to add some white. I think I am done guys yeah, I'm going to retouch here Okay And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to retouch again, guys, more on the background. So I'm going to add some rocks here. There. So there's a few rocks. You can use your fingers to blend more. So I think I am done guys with my with my simple painting tutorial. Actually guys, um, if you put more time on your painting, it will become more beautiful. It will become more accurate, more more detailed. So I think I'm going to stop now because I'm tired. And it took me more than 2 hours to finish this one. And yeah, I hope you learned something out of this. And you can apply it on your own. Okay, so... Good luck guys if you are painting with me now and my advice guys to keep on practicing keep on painting the more the more not to use your brush the more not to use the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in my palette because i want you to learn how to mix and get the third colors you want okay guys so my advice guys if you are painting here you can add more details you can clear more lines or retouch more to to make it more beautiful or more um, accurate or to make it more perfect okay like that so thank you guys and please hit like add some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future and if you are painting with me just keep on doing it and good luck thank you guys have a nice day and god bless you all